player of the year this year. Jared, who are you going to go with? Last year, just to remind everybody, to, to <laughs> remind uh, our viewers, uh, Jan and Jared went with John Rahm, and I went with Morikawa. So, Jared, uh, what are you going to do this year? Because John Rahm ain't going to be in it, that's for sure. Unless he wins well, for a couple of majors. <laughs> right, yeah. I'm, go- I'm going Morikawa this year. Um, oh. I think, you know, last year was underwhelming as far as wins. You know, he, did, he, well, he didn't win until he, he won in, uh, where was it, somewhere in Asia, right, late late in the fall. Mm-hmm. Um, I, th- I, I think that start- should start, you know, kick-starting him for this season. But really, if you look at his numbers from last year, they were right in line with where they were the previous few seasons. He just didn't happen to win last year. So I, I think he bounces back this year. I think he wins multiple times. I think he's still a player who's getting better. You know, he's still only 26 or 27 years old. So I'm going to go with Morikawa. All right. Wow, Jan? That, that's a good one. I mean, Morikawa, I think he's going to have a good year. I agree. Um, he broke through at the end, and he and he, you know, he always had the tendency when he's leading to kind of stumble, and he didn't when he played in Japan, which was good. Um, he actually got stronger, and I think that probably helps his confidence. You know, I think it's going to be somebody we don't expect. I think it's going to be someone. You know, I, I don't want to put too much pressure on Ludwig, but you know, someone that's uh, yeah, don't really do that. got an impressive game. Okay, well, do you have a few names? Like, uh, what are you? T- are you talking like what? So you're talking about somebody who hasn't been there before? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like Max. I think Max Home has got a great That's golf game. That's a good game. one. Um, uh, I, I like his game. Everyone keeps saying that Shoffley's going to break through and and win <laughs> a major. I'm I'm not as gung ho as him as I am on Max Homer. I think he's okay. got a great attitude. He's very popular, and um, he's really comes through when the pressure's on. All right. Well, we'll we'll put Homer down for you then, and I'll uh, I'll I'll go with my uh, my my pick my my top pick and Rory. Uh, Rory just sort of like Scotty, you know, he didn't get a major win, so I know he's going to be hungry for that. He's still on top of his game, so I can see a, I can see a rebound big year for Rory uh, in 2024. Okay, next up, let's go with. Uh, which PGA Tour regular do you believe is going to have a breakthrough season? Now, this is going to be somebody who's never won a major, never won a FedEx Cup, or ever finished in the top 10 in the world. Um, and uh, la- and it also does not necessarily uh, have to be somebody that is going to be in the top 10 or going to win a major. Just somebody who's going to break through. And, and wow, I didn't realize this top 40 player uh, could hover around the top 10, uh, or, or maybe even he does uh, win a major. So, um Jan, I already know who your pick is because you told me on our uh, phone call. So uh, go ahead and let everybody know who your breakthrough player is. Who did I say it was going to be? <laughs> Harris English. Oh, um, well, yes, I do think that. I mean, the word is on the street that, you know, he still hasn't reached his potential. Everybody keeps saying he's such a good player. He's, you know, he's a steady player, but he never breaks through. And he's, I think he's like 34. So he said he's about at the end of his, what they consider the, you know, your peak. And um, I think it's time for him to make a move. So I, I'm looking for him to, to do it this year. He's, he's got enough confidence now. He's started to play better. I think he's going to be someone that breaks through when no one's expecting it. All right. Yeah. Cause last year, somebody would have been smart if they would have said Brian Harmon or Wyndham Clark. So those are the types of uh, players we're talking about. So, uh, so English could definitely, maybe he's that guy uh, who can uh, find his way into that type of uh, season. So, and by the way, those, of course, those two players won majors, but uh, Jared, who's your breakthrough player? Yeah, I'm going Sahith Tagala here. Um, you know, 26 years old. So I think he's still ascending. Um, you know, he needs to clean up the driving, just looking at his stats, like off the tee is pretty easily the weakest part of his game, but he's a good iron player. He's an awesome short game. He's a good putter, and he, he hits it plenty long enough. He just he just gets wild from time to time, so he needs to figure that out a bit. But, you know, he's shown, he's shown upside, right? I mean, he competed last week. He competed at Waste Management. Uh, was that last year or two years ago? He competed. Yeah. I mean, you know, he, he's, he, he's, he's, been, he's been up there at the top of the leaderboard. I think he's ready to get a big win. Um, I think he's a guy who, who could win a couple times this year. Uh, mine, uh, my, my two players are going to come down to uh, Minwoo Lee uh, and Ricky. And, uh, of course, Ricky, that means he's going to win a major. That's what it's going to mean for Ricky. I think he's ready now. And we, we, we know we went through the personal and the changes, and it looked like uh, that, was, that was over. It looked like he got back to uh, where he uh, should have been last year. So now I think he's ready to take uh, another step. 
so um, so I'll I'll say Ricky, but uh, yeah, Minwoo was someone that uh, very impressed with. Of course, Jan, you know how well he played over in Australia, and it looks like he's ready also to take because he's been a little bit inconsistent in his limited PGA Tour starts last year. But uh, it looks like that maybe uh, he's uh, ready to because nobody really knows who the guy is uh, in, in America on the PGA mm-hmm. Tour. So maybe he's that perfect uh, breakthrough type of guy. That's a good one. I mean, I, I don't know how much he's going to play on the DP Tour as well, but he's he's he hits his swing speed is up there in the top five. I mean, and he's a little guy, but he's you know he's played junior golf. I mean, I I've known him since he was like nine years old, and he was he's been a superstar. Um, and same as Sahith, I think that's one thing that's a good player is that he's he's been there, he's been around the world, he's he was top junior, he's he's had a lot of competition, which really helps. I mean, the players that have had a lot of competition when the pressure's on in the majors is huge. All right, comeback player. Last year, I went with Jason Day, Jan went with Francesco Molinari, and Jared went with Webb Simpson. So we kind of struck out there. Uh, well, you did well. <laughs> yeah, they did okay. That's right. You did get a win. So, uh, yeah, that, that worked out. Now, I, maybe a little bit more, but uh, he could have been a little bit more consistent. But it does look like maybe this could be the year that he's full, fully back to being maybe a top 10 player again. So, comeback player. Uh, Jan, who are you going to go with? Well, I, I, I'm really, really positive on Ben Ahn. He's just you know, when, when the coach is telling you that he's ready to go, you know, that's a, that's a good sign. Um, and Sean has said he's, he's, he's worked so hard and to make those many changes. And, you know, now he's got the putting with the long putter. And, um, he's got, you know, I think he's settled down. He's, he's in Orlando. He's, I, I, everyone keeps saying he shot some really, really low rounds this winter. So that's pretty impressive. All right. Jared? Who is your comeback player of the year? And I know you're not going to say Will Zalatoris. I'd like to. Um, I'd, I'd love to see it. I mean, I think I think the easy answer is Justin Thomas. I just think he's too good to have another year like he did last year. I think I think he'll bounce back. Um, the the guy I wanted to ask Jan about is Gary Woodland, who I know had a pretty serious yeah. surgery. I'd, I'd like yeah. I'd like to see him bounce back. Any thoughts on him, Jan? Yeah, well, he's such a popular player with the players. And, uh, he's, you know, he's a nice guy. I'm surprised he's playing the Sony that quickly. So that's good news that, it, that it, you know, obviously it wasn't um, malignant and they got it out and, and he's ready to go. So he's he had terrible headaches last year. And um, so now they're saying that uh, they're, they're going to give it, um, they're going to, hopefully he does well. And, and I'd love to see it because he's, he's a good guy and I'm excited to see how he plays. I, I think it's, He's just happy not to have any headaches, so um, he's got a great golf game. You know, he really hasn't done much since he was open with at at Pebble, but he's got a great golf game, and he bombs it. So so you're going to go with JT, meaning he's going to win a major? Yeah, I'll go with – yeah, sure. Yeah, I think he's going to win a It's a pretty obvious pick. But but he's got to win a major. That's not so easy to go and win a major. So you can't, can't, like, predict he's going to break through a player like that unless he wins a major. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I I mean, I – He'll either win a major or he'll be, you know, back inside the top 10 by the end of the year. All right. He's working really hard. Yeah. I'm going to go with one of Jan's favorites. I'm going to go with Adam Scott. So uh, I think it's uh, – I think also, you know, Justin Rose is someone too that uh, – one of those uh, – oh, yeah, we have a flash flood warning here. No, oh, I was wondering what that was. So, uh, yeah, uh, but Scott is I, – I, it, the, both of those guys have another big one left, but I think Scott, you know, you tell me, Jen, because uh, I know Adam's been, uh, he's, he's, he's always been a, somebody that has never, I don't know, it just always seems like somebody that's, he's so, he doesn't put the pressure on himself to be a great player as much as I think he could be. I don't think that was ever, it just never seemed like there was something that was his goal. Uh, but at this stage of his career, it just seems to me that, you know what, time's kind of running out. I need to take advantage of my game as best I can. Totally agree. I mean, he's 46, but he's very fit. I mean, he works out like absolutely crazy. Um, and, you know, everybody loves his golf swing. His golf swing is amazing. He's very physically strong. So it's not a it's not a case of being too old. He's the, definitely the, the man is, you know, he's classy. The only thing is he's very private. You know, he, he doesn't like to even – uh, bring his kids or his wife's out to the golf course. You know, I mean, he, 
the, he's always trying to keep them away from everything. You know, whenever we go to any of the pro-am dinners, like at the open, he doesn't bring his wife. The only time you ever see them is, is um, when they play the presence cup, when they all, they all the wives come, but he's, he's kept his family away from the limelight. So he gets when, you know, you, you have trouble even finding him at, at, during the week and even at restaurants, you know, he stays with his family, his parents come um, to a lot of events. And, uh, but I think if he can just fix his putting, you know, he's great from 10 feet and yeah. long putts, but the, the short putting is, is, you know, how do you win a major when you miss so many short putts? You know, you just can't do that in a major. All right. Now I'm going to go through some groups and this is going to be players to win a first major. So, um, you know, I'm not going to make it easy. So uh, the, the, the three man groups, we got four groups. Okay. You got to choose one player from each group. Uh, first group, Burns, Young, Zalatoris. Jared? I'm going Zalatoris. I know there's a chance he's never the same guy again, but like when he's healthy, we've seen him what he has six top tens in majors already. Like he, you know, he's, he's been there. If he can figure it out health wise. Um, I, I, I just think he has a better chance than Sam Burns who has yet to compete in a major. I know Cam Young has, um, but I don't know his, I think, I don't know if he's, he's slumping or what Cam, Cam Young just hasn't seen, seemed like the same guy. Over he's the going through six, changes, six, eight, right? Jan? I months. know maybe one of these re insider reports, you'll have some information on that, but I remember hearing that he was going through what it was it equipment or something equipment changes, I think, right? The equipment change. Yeah. Cause he's swing. He's, he sticks with his dad. He works in this game on his debt with his dad and, and um, you know, and he's a PGA pro. So he, he works really hard on his game. I think he's, I think he's going to be a breakout player. Um, I don't know that he's going to break out at a major. He gets really nervous with now because of this, you know, again, the, when you short game, when you're putting is your weakest part of your game, it makes it hard to win a major. I'm going to go Sam Burns. Wow. Burns. Okay. Why do you trust Sam Burns is going to break out finally? He did win match play, which was important. That was nice yeah. to see. But well, he's, he's got a wonderful short game. So, again, you need that with a – with um, a major, my only concern is that he gets that right to left going, and once it starts going, you know, he tries to hang on to it. It makes it go more left, so that concerns me. But if he's working on his long game, um, his coach is always saying they're always working on it. But he's got plenty of power, and I love his short game. All right, group number two: Tommy Fleetwood, Ricky Fowler, Terrell Hatton, Jared. I went Fleetwood here. Um, really? More by process, by process of elimination. Yeah, I don't. I don't think Ricky's going to get it done. Hatton has no top tens in a major since 2019. He just hasn't really been in the mix. In he always gets majors. off to a yep. slow start. That's the problem. Yeah. And I mean, Fleet, Fleetwood, Fleetwood has four top tens in the last two years. I don't really trust him to close the deal in a major. But I think if, if one of these three guys is going to do it, I, I bet on Tommy. Yeah, maybe what Tommy needs is he needs to uh, he needs to go in uh, to the clubhouse early on the final day with the lead and have the players behind him that's, choke. That's how it's going to happen. That's how it's going to happen. Yep, that's what he needs, and he, and he needs to do that anywhere. He just needs to get that first PGA <laughs> win because that's totally even been a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to get that monkey off your back. Yeah, Jan. You know, I'm I'm probably gonna go with Jared's too. I, I I and you know, and I was I was down on Fleetwood last year. I didn't think his golf swing was good enough, but the you should see how hard he's worked. Uh, it's it's been unbelievable, and his swing. You know, I, I kind of call it the American influence because he was never anyone that worked out. You know, it was a typical kind of like a, a Lowry. You know, just go to the pub after you finish, and you know, and that was it. But he has really knuckled down. Um, his workout program is really impressive, and his practice is, is getting there. So, And he's, he's obviously got a great short game. You know, I didn't like the fact that he went from open to close so quickly and under pressure with that much speed. Um, he was going to be able to lose control of it coming down the stretch, which he's, which he's done. Uh, but now his swing has really improved, and his workout facility, you know, like I said, his workout is so good that he's getting stronger okay. so he can hold off that position. So I think, and it's time for him to break through. I think once he does, it'll be, it'll be fine. And it, and he's still making so much money. He's got really good relationship with his caddy. And I think that 
you know, his caddy didn't get down on him. Sometimes, you know, your caddy gets to be, can be a problem if you haven't won or you choke under pressure. And yeah. he's been yeah. so supportive that I look for him to be able to break through. All right. Even though I love Terrell Hatton's golf swing. Sure. But you know what? The reason that Terrell doesn't win the majors is that yeah. he doesn't have the patience. You yeah. have to yeah. be so patient in a major. It takes six hours to play your first two rounds. There's too many players playing. You're so nervous. They got the golf course so hard, and one little thing can set you off. And you know what Terrell's like. You know he's got <laughs> such a temper. It's pretty funny to watch. But and he 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 thrives on negativity. But it's I don't think it works in a major. Well, that's why he always gets off to slow starts at the majors, and uh, he seems to always kind of get back into it. But it's just he's so far behind. So, all right. Uh, next uh, group we have Cantlay, Homa, and Shawflay. Jared. Yeah, and this this is a tough group because I think all three guys could do it. I went I went with Homa though because I you know among these three guys he's the one I trust most to close it out on a Sunday if he's you know in, in the final group or two. I think he 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 finally got his first uh, top ten in a major last year at the Open, so I think you know that could kind of propel him sure. to winning one of them this year. Jan. Well, as much as I love Max and and uh, I think Cantley's going to do it. I think oh. Cantley. You know, he got married in the fall. They stayed there and got a be- had a beautiful wedding after the Presence Cup in in Italy, and it was gorgeous. And I think that's going to settle him down now. And I think I think it's time for him to win a major. And then the last group is Finau, <clears throat> Sung Jae Im, and Tom Kim. Jared, I'm going Sung Jae here. Um, I I like Sung Jae this year. I think he's going to have a big year. Um, I don't think Tom Kim's ready quite yet. I think you know maybe. I think he'll win one eventually, maybe a few years down the road. Finau, I, I worry if his window's kind of closed. You know, he did have a bunch of top tens in the majors, but he he actually has no top tens in the majors over the last two years now. Um, so I, I just wonder if he kind of missed his chance to win. I think Sungjae's kind of in, in the right um, point of his career to maybe maybe pick one of these off. Jan? I'm going with Tony. Uh, you know, I, I love his golf swing. And he's he has he's really done as little as he could possibly with that with that uh, you know his, his ability and his talent. He's got a great golf swing. His putting has improved tremendously, and you have to have both. And he's one of those players that is kind of calm, which you need in a major. You need to not have that up and down emotion. So I actually think it's time for him to break out. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, uh, not a good year for him last year, so this is a big year for him to kind of get back. Uh, and um, looked like he was on the cusp, but because uh, he did win that what he won that first FedEx Cup playoff event in 2022, I believe it was. And then last year, it just didn't go well for him. All right. Yeah, he uh, won in Mexico, but that was a pretty easy one for him. Now, um, winning the FedEx Cup is different from being Player of the Year, so. As we saw last year, so uh, who who are you gonna go, who are you gonna go with, uh, Jared? As far as who you think is gonna win FedEx Cup this year, I'm gonna go Morikawa if he's gonna be. Uh, oh, he's gonna player, win of, the player year. of the year he's and gonna, win the FedEx Cup. I mean, yeah, if he wins the FedEx Cup, he should be Player of the Year. Probably that probably means he won a few other times. So yeah, I think I think it's gonna be a big year for Morikawa. Okay, Jan. Well, I'm probably gonna go with Victor again. Um, wow, because- back to back. Yeah, I think it's, I mean, the players hate the format. They absolutely hate it because of the last few events, you know, you get so many points. But and now that he understands how it works, you know, it's like a lot of players go, okay, I get it. You know, they're, I think he's, and you know, and I like his, his golf swing since they, he changed it. You know, he changed it beginning of last year and, um, and, and he's really good and he's improved his six foot putting and his short putting has just gone you know, everybody talks about how bad a chipper in bunkers he was, and he's, yeah. he spent a bit of time on that. So his game is he's pretty much got it all going right now. He does. He could have a scary year because he still hasn't won a major yet.